Saltus is a delicious but obscure member of the lettuce family. Also known as stem lettuce, it's cultivated for its large, crunchy, and flavorful stalk. Celtus is widely grown in its native China, and you'll find the large stems neatly stacked in market displays across the country. While stem lettuce may seem new to Americans, an Illinois doctor and horticulturalist named John A. Kennecott introduced it here in the 1840s. But it remained unknown until Burpee's Seeds launched a splashy campaign for it in 1942, complete with the catchy new name of Celtus, a portmanteau nod to its flavor like celery and lettuce. Burpee's gave this Chinese variety a moment in the sun, naming it Best Vegetable of the Year in 1942 and devoting a two-page spread and full-color ad in its seed catalog that included this description. In 1938, from far off western China near the border of Tibet, Reverend Carter D. Holton, a missionary, sent us a few seeds of a new vegetable and with them a letter that read in part, I am sure that you will find pleasure in the growing and in the taste of this new vegetable. It is widely used by the people living in this province. The young leaves are eaten as lettuce and the stalks are peeled of their tough outer skin and the heart either eaten raw or cooked. It is truly delicious with a taste all its own, perhaps slightly suggesting that of celery, but different and milder. The burpees feature also included recipes such as Celtus au gratin with cheese, Celtus vinaigrette, and a Celtus green salad. But American gardeners didn't bite. Traditionally in China, Celtus, or wo shun, is either cooked fresh or dried for later use. The most popular Chinese recipe for Celtus calls for stir frying it. If Celtus was a veggie ahead of its time in America, it seems now poised for a comeback. At the Baker Creek Test Kitchen, we found that Celtus makes an incredible gluten free pasta substitute. Our favorite preparation is simply to shave the stems thin and toss in sesame oil, cooking quickly, and then sprinkling with sesame seeds. And Celtus is a great grower in the winter greenhouse. So while it may be new to us at Baker Creek, Celtus is actually a very ancient vegetable. Um, the cultivation of the lettuce species dates back to ancient Egypt, and lettuce was grown for its stem in Byzantine Greece, where they pickled and considered it a delicacy. Um, it's not known whether Chinese Celtus is directly descendant from the ancient Greek type or if it came about on its own in China. Um, but you can see this lettuce relative is just thriving in the cool weather here. And um, here we can see the first growing stage of the plant. So um, it, in its young stage, Celtus first produces these tender lettuce-like leaves that are great eaten raw in salads. And uh, in the 1942 Burpees catalog, it suggests eating them as boiling greens, so you'd eat them cooked. In a few weeks, these little plants are gonna grow taller and form a thick stalk, kind of like broccoli. And we're just gonna pull off these lower leaves to prepare them. And again, these leaves are still great eaten raw like, like typical lettuce, but what we really want is this stalk. So um, we have two varieties growing here. They're both fall types and they're both popular in China. This is Red Mountain Celtus. It produces these red tinged leaves and it makes a nice crunchy stalk. Then we have Green Mountain Celtus. It produces a larger thick stalk and it's a really beautiful chartreuse color. It's really nice. So, we would love to see you grow this versatile veggie in your garden. It's crisp, it's delicious, it's easy to grow, it loves the cool weather. <laughs>